I'm very shy. And they also like girls, which makes it very hard because number one, girls are very hard to talk to. And number two, they're extremely intimidating. It feels like there's a glass wall between me and meeting new girls. I can see them, they can see me, but we can't quite get to each other. Walking down the hallway, damn it, damn it. Every step I take. I get this burst of confidence. I'm like, you know what? Screw shyness. You know, like, this is stupid. I'm going to go say hi to her if it's the last thing I do. So I turn around and I'm about to go up and catch up to her and say hi somehow, one way or another. Sonny, I think that I you accidentally went too far. I never did talk to that girl. Oh, sorry. Yes. We're going to back it up and start over. Sorry for the technical difficulty. I'm very shy, and they also like girls, which makes it very hard because, number one, girls are very hard to talk to, and number two, they're extremely intimidating. It feels like there's a glass wall between me and meeting new girls. I can see them, they can see me, but we can't quite get to each other. Whenever I try to talk to a girl I think is pretty or cute, I either stumble my words, get super anxious, or just head towards the nearest exit. So it's junior year. I'm feeling pretty good, but I really want to meet a new girl or talk to, you know, the girl I like. I'm an open book, you know, I'm, re I'm ready to get out there and break that glass wall that I have in front of me a little bit. So one day I'm walking in the stairs in the cafeteria and the sun is shining through. It's a beautiful day out. And I see this girl at the bottom of the stairs. She has brown eyes, yeah, sorry, brown eyes um, and blonde hair. And she's really pretty. And she smiles in my direction. My first thought is she's smiling at me. So I look behind me. There's no one there. So I think she's smiling at me. So I smile back. I walk down the stairs. Oh, she goes out the side door. And I'm like, oh my God, this is awesome. She smiled at me. From my gaydar sense, I'm pretty sure she's into girls. So I'm like, okay, maybe I could talk to this girl. You know, I'll, I'll see her around and I'll say hi. You know? But first, I need a game plan. So I asked my brother for advice. The first thing he tells me is never say coolio. I tend to say that a lot. He's, he's very strict about this. He, he mentions that it's very uncool. So I'm like, okay, okay, I can do that. I can do that. The second thing he says is never use the phrase awesome sauce. Okay. And he goes on and on about how, how I have to just go with the flow, um, just talk to the girl, don't think, and just do. So in, in the next couple of days, I see, I see that this girl, and she's eating lunch with her friends. And I'm like, okay, this is my opportunity. I can go say hi to this girl. So I'm like, okay, I got this, I got this. I have my brother's advice in my head, you know, don't say uncool words, you know, all of that. I'm kind of saying guessing his, his, advice, his advice because I'm not as outgoing as him. You know, I'm, you know, we're very different. Maybe I shouldn't do this, but he's my brother. I love him. I'm going to listen to his advice. I'm going to do this. So I'm getting ready to talk to this girl. I have my phone. I start sliding through my uh, fake Instagram posts. Uh, I don't have Instagram, but fake it to you, make it so I'm very fakely scrolling. I'm sliding over to make eye contact and talk to this girl. And I'm like, just about to make eye contact, almost there, and the bell rings. And I was like, oh, damn it. Like, ring, ring, ring. And I'm like, oh, damn it. You know, my phone falls. Um, I'm a mess. The hallways are erupting with people. 
she was sitting right above the entry hallway at Franklin. So we all know that people are coming in, people are opening the doors to the classrooms. It's loud, kids are running, it's a mess. I'm cursing myself as I'm walking down the hallway. Damn it, damn it, every step I take. Suddenly, I get this burst of confidence. I'm like, you know what? Screw shyness. You know, like, this is stupid. I'm going to go say hi to her if it's the last thing I do. So I turn around, and I'm about to go up and catch up to her and say hi. Somehow, one way or another, I end up checking out. I never did talk to that girl. But I did talk to a girl I liked. I did um, break that glass wall um, a little bit. Um, and as the pandemic hit, you know, that glass, glass wall literally got put back up. Um, and it really made me realize that I need to start getting myself out there. I need to start talking to people. I need to start not being afraid to talk to girls, you know, not being afraid to put myself out there. I'm going to college next year. Um, I'm going to go, um, you know, see if they have a story slam platform at the, at the college. Um, I'm going to go to parties. I'm going to just break that glass wall, wall more and more because I've learned that it's not worth hiding behind a glass wall or, in my case, being stuck behind a glass wall anymore. Thank you.